everybody. Welcome to the Ranting Raging Podcast. It's your girl, Pink Lee. To my right, I have... It's your boy, Too Cocky Dre, a.k.a. Miss Keep It Cocky, a.k.a. Mr. Ruffle Some Feathers. <laughs> to my left, I have... It's your boy, Drop That from Different World. That's what's up. So tonight, we have a great show planned for you, per usual. Shout out to The Vibe, Open Vibe Philly. The first Open Vibe Philly of the, of the year was Monday, and it was lit. Movie. It was so lit. Like, I had such a good time. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's like I always say, ain't no vibe like Open Vibe Philly. And I'm telling you, if you're an artist in the on the East Coast, I'm not even going to say Philadelphia area. Philadelphia, New York, Jersey, Delaware, Maryland. Because actually, Jersey, Delaware, New York, and Maryland were all in the building last night. What? I mean, on Monday. Pleasant. And so we had a legend in the building. Shout out to Shelliano. He yep, came Shelly through Yano and came too. I'm so, not even going to lie. She Supreme is, was in there. What? Supreme? Yes. Yes, Supreme was in there. But I'm I'm going to tell you, though, like, watching shells was like, man, that was like watching my teenage years, just watch like them DVDs, like, bro, yeah. I never seen any live. So just to see that was like, damn, that was like, that right. was like a moment. Right, he came up and went right in his element. Yeah. He, bro, on show it. Look, he played them stages, man. Yeah, real rap. Hey, yeah, Shelliano, if you watching this, bro, yeah, you turned up. I'm mad I ain't get a chance to clip your performance, but like we gotta do it again. That way we can show the world. Yeah, I definitely, definitely. got. We, yeah, um, Co Green Media got some footage. I know that for a fact. So oh yeah, we'll definitely um, look forward to that. I but just yeah. pray that one day, my fault, Pink. No, I just good. pray that one day, you know, I'm gonna just speak it into existence that. You know, we just get the ultimate showcase from Stereotype. All the artists that get played on there, just without it being an open vibe, it's just like a, a just an actual showcase. Dre, like, you know. Dre, Dang we it. do so many showcases per year. We do two events quarterly. We do an acoustic night. You went to the game to the acoustic open mic. You right. didn't come to the real acoustic night. So we okay. do like a more upscale event, <laughs> night, which is done quarterly. Mm -hmm. And then we do Hotbox 420, and then we have like random events that are themed out throughout the year. So we already, we've been doing that for years. It's just you just now coming around, and it's like the last, like I think you were around for one Hotbox so far, but that's right. it. So the more you'll see, but they come quarterly. So don't, don't, don't be mad. I ain't come to a Hotbox yet. Oh yeah, oh, so you yeah, know, yeah, Drake performed the last yeah. hot box. Actually, on yeah. some shit. Yeah. By accident, you know. I, I just, I just, yeah, I just asked Boogie. I said, Boogie, make it happen. Yeah. See, I've been staying away from the weed, so I was like, all right, you know what? Oh yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. Was I'm gonna regardless. I said I'm gonna stay somewhere safe. I heard y'all was giving out free blunts to the winner and all that. Oh uh, no, you get a free, you get a free pre-roll upon entry. See that? Yeah. That's see. So that's that's why I ain't show up yet. But in reference to um, the open vibers, so like that's how that's how the that's how the people are booked though. That's how that's how the the more curated shows. That's how um, the artists are chosen. They're chosen from the people who come out to the vibe, who are coming out consistently, who are coming out back to back, who are showing like when they was timid and then they on stage killing it. Now the people are showing the growth and the and the hard work that they're willing to put in. And that's how that's how they get chosen. So just that's just, that's just a you know a, a word of advice to everybody. On the lives, you got to remember that, um, yeah, that's how you get chosen. You want to get chosen, you better pull up. Show up and yeah. put that work in. Shout Pink Lee was her. telling me. Yeah. Pink Lee was telling me the other day. She said, listen, you're going to get better and better. You just got to keep coming and keep getting up there, vibing out, seeing how it go. Yeah, because I feel like, um, I feel like, um, I feel like everybody is, people are afraid. I feel like people are, um, timid but they claim that they want something right so if you really want something you got to go after it um by any means necessary there's nothing you can't let fear get in your way or any like there's there nothing the can world be doesn't way. involve fear oh it doesn't involve fear see yeah i didn't even know that's it for that but that's lit like yeah. you don't want fear surrounding any like just go for what you want and if you're too afraid to go for what you want you don't think you don't want it as bad as you think you want it Exactly. That's that's true. That's what it is. Like that's words of wisdom right there, uh, which yeah. leads us into. Yeah. No. Yeah. We about to get into it. To the, <laughs> but to the, you mean to the entree? I had to shout out our sponsor, Pink Drinks. Um, I always forget to bring the bottles, and so got bottles Ooh. this week. I need, I need, I need for you guys to know. Stop coming up to me like, oh my god, I just be on a Pink Drink out the week when you know you can just hit the DM or you can so hit the order do. form. So you a lot do. of you guys have my sticker with the QR code. A lot of you guys are my mm. friend on Instagram. A lot of you guys follow the pink. A lot of you guys follow the Pink Drinks page, and there's um, a link in the bio with for the order form. So all you have to do is literally just go order it, um, or you can DM me, or you can email. So you have plenty of options. Um, 
You have plenty of options in terms of how to, to get them delivery, pick up 24-7, always on deck. So, yeah, it's happened. Um, mm-hmm. Also, these campaigns. Well, wait a minute. How, but you got to let them know, how much is this particular bottle right here, though? Well, this particular oh, $10, bottle, I know, because I just bought one. No. <laughs> oh, oh, my fault, my they're fault. That was, that was my price, my bad. They're I got the discount. You see, ah. Uh, $12 or they're two for 20 So, yeah, that's how oh, they go. Right. Well, for this particular price. Now. For this particular bottle, this is a 16 ounce bottle, but we do have jugs available and we have um, larger. We have all different sizes available, but you can go on the page and all the information is there. Everything is right there at Pink Drink. It's spicy too. Two Ks. Yeah, it's going to bite you a little bit, but it's very smooth, tropical, rich tasting. So, Mm -hmm. and uh, shout out to CEO Keish. Y'all know that Keish normally on with us. Uh, Keish is being. Mommy mode tonight. Happy birthday to her daughter. They are celebrating. So, you know, we wanted to send, send her a shout out and send our daughter the biggest, the biggest, the biggest happy birthday from her family at Stereotype. Y'all know what's going on. But Keish definitely is still tapping in with us. So, what up, Keish? How you doing? What up, what up, what up, what up? So, we're about to get into Words of Wisdom. Um, words of Wisdom this week is going to be based around what are you doing now? Right? What have you done lately? I I think a lot of times people get caught up in their glory days. And, like, I feel like old people do this a lot. Older people. Like, older people that ain't about anything now. I was going to say ain't. (laughs) Older people who don't have anything going on. I feel like. But, no, it's younger people, too, now. So, I can't even say that. But I could just say people of all ages have this thing where they always, like, yeah, because, you know, this when this was going on, that was my. It was like, yeah, that was your prime. But like, what are you doing now? Like, you had moments in them, but what are you doing now? Like, right. you were, you were, you were lit, but what are you doing now? Like, are you mm-hmm. still working as hard? Are you still? Were you consistent all this time? Did you take a break, pick it back up? Did you change your change your route? Did you like revive, renew? Like, what did you do to change or to continue to go or continue to grow? Because people who are who are active, constant, like you know, like active. Um, recently or like currently like if they're currently doing things they're not like saying they're not they're not the ones bringing up their glory days like if someone brings up their glory days it's like okay it's a random occurrence but they're not harping over their own glory days all the time and like just saying like right. oh yeah back in 95 you know i was lit i was that nick. and it's like okay and you was current what they got going on yeah, right now like not, what's in the yeah yeah like you're not like what are you doing so i feel like <laughs> I, people get caught up, and some people like don't have a reality check, and they feel like they're still where they were at their prime, but they're not anymore, and they still carry themselves like that, and right. it's not matching up. It's not giving what it's supposed to. It's not like, and it, it's annoying. Um, it's annoying, but you know, that's not <laughs> that's neither here nor there. <laughs> that it's annoying, but um, it's just like it's sad though because I feel like if people, it's almost like a disorder because like you really, you really still believe that you're like in this place of like productivity and you're not like you're not doing anything and not even to compare like what you were doing then which because we're in what you're doing now because you should you should be doing more or either you should either be working a hell of a lot harder or a hell of a lot smarter i say both but at least one in order i probably used to say work smarter not harder i i used to say that i'm big on that i used to say that too but i feel like you need to work the, the smarter you work the smarter you work, the harder you should work as well. Because when you're working smarter, you're, that means you're thinking more. So you should be like how if you have like three different lanes of income here or different streams of income here, working smarter should be able to ha- help you create five streams of income there. So work, you end up working working, working, working smarter so for they, Working smarter for me would be having some other delegating your work. So you don't have to work as hard so you have other people help. Yeah, but here's yeah. the thing. Before you can even get to that point, you got to work harder. To get to the point of working, working smarter. smarter, yes, and then mm, and once okay. you get to a certain and I, and I always say in words of wisdom, like once you get to a certain level, right, you only want more. You only work harder. Like it doesn't get easier as we get like more successful as we reach our goals. We only create bigger goals for ourselves because we're like, damn, I did all this. Oh, I know I could do this now. Like you only are encouraged to do more, so you're gonna end up working harder. But the thing is, hard work is the is I don't even want to say it's the key to life. I, like, like the catalyst. It's not even the catalyst. It's everything. It's literally everything. Like, you can't do anything without working hard. Like, if you're not working hard, then what are you doing? Because there's nothing, episode 82, you can't really do anything without working hard. There's no aspect of life that you can, like, skate by being lazy. Like, even if you, like, 
I don't know. Any 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 example I could think of, I can guarantee you that if you are not working hard, you're not going to be successful. You're not going to be comfortable. You're not going to you know, have the things you want or ain't, need. Ain't like, nothing but the truth, though. Keep it a being. That's, yeah, that's straight you facts. You always got to grind. Um, you can't buy, and people think they can buy their way. <laughs> they think they can buy their way into, like, um, like the hard work. They can, they can bypass the hard work because they, they, they'll cut a check for it, but it don't work like that. Like, the hard work, not only, not only does it build character, but it prepares you for what you're going to face the next time. So you're already prepared because you, you can't, like, pay someone to bail you out every single time. There's right. going to be a time where you have to show up for yourself. Right. So I, for, so I was watching this one guy where he was, like, a mentor where he was pretty much saying that he can outwork everybody that's on his team, saying, like, you know, he could do final cut better, he could program better and everything. But what his goal is to, to get his team members – up to like 80% of what he can do. And then after he got people that can do what he can do to a high level, then he hired people that is that is even better than him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you have like yeah. a team of people like you like on now Steve Jobs type level. Yeah, I see okay. that. Too. But like but like but like, but like yeah, but like Dre said though, you got to work your way to that point. You yeah. got to put in the groundwork even, first. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel that too, but I feel like even once you get to that that level at that point Bless bless you. You, brother. Thank you. I feel like when you get to that level at that point, you're probably still working hard, but just in a different way. Yeah. But now you have to manage these people. Now you can't just like trust these people blindly. Now you have yeah. to like be micromanaging them to yeah. make sure they're doing the job. So you, yeah. if you don't want to do it yourself, you're going to be doing just as much work micromanaging them. Right. So like either and way. And then try, listen, good. trust is a heavy drums. Like. Yeah, and especially in business, you can't really have a lot of trust in business. Like you mm-hmm. you trust to, uh, on a percentage based mm-hmm. no, business, I dig that isn't personal so right. you can't you know what i mean you can't wholeheartedly be like oh yeah i love this guy like it don't matter if you love but him then, or hate but him. then business is but business then but right. then should you trust somebody that you hiring for that to be on a tender with you like if you are hiring somebody right let's say you 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 was hiring somebody and they needed to transport your equipment could yeah. should you hire people you can trust well, when you hire people like that, there's contracts involved. There's mm, insurance involved. That's like, 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 you right. know what I mean? Everything is covered. You don't need facts, to trust. Facts. So, yeah, I got insurance and all that. The contract is my trust. <laughs> <The contract laughs> Listen to Pink Lee. Yeah, she said the contract my trust. Yeah, that. definitely, for sure. Yeah, I just don't feel like it needs to be anything. I had an issue last year with somebody. It was like that. It was just, like, personal. Just kept. It was like a business, like, um conversation and like personal kept getting thrown in there i was like the hell is going on like i thought wait i'm so confused here because i thought we were okay all right i dig that i I feel like it happens a lot like people just don't know that they don't know how to draw that line at all so get into the first topic of the night definitely and i just need y'all to understand that i love my ladies i do but I cause it as I see it, and I address all the BS. So, women telling women, telling men how to be men, but they didn't grow up with a father in the house. Is it is it giving or is it not? It's not making sense, right? Right. What, what are y'all thinking? Like, have y'all experienced this? Have you seen this? Because this is something I've been seeing trending on the internet this week. A lot of people are having conversations about it. And it's funny because I saw the meme first and then I saw the statuses after. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm wondering what's going on with that. How do y'all feel about that? So for me, um, I feel as though, like, if if a woman is trying to explain to a man how to be a man you know what i'm saying then that means that maybe she has some type of masculinity issues whatever maybe you know maybe she has which how she feels on the inside on what a man should be like for her and that's if she like you said if she didn't have a father you know what i mean so maybe she's just trying to identify for herself what she think a father is supposed to be so she's trying to create that image of what she think <coughs> a dad supposed to be i feel you but is that her place to do that Nah, it's mm. that's like a. I think that's a. Uh, you know, maybe it's a, a bit of a, um, you know, like a personality court or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me, it's some smoke coming. <coughs> Somewhere in my throat. <coughs> so, um, so all right, um, <laughs> my fault. Hmm. I'm even laughing. I ain't laughing at this. Just bothered by some. Just niggas fucking with me, but um. All right, so 
a woman can never tell a man how to be a man. She can never tell, just like a man can never tell a woman how, how to, be to be a, a woman. woman. That's just something that we can't do. Like we, yeah. we can't even. Uh, if we, if I'm being honest, you can't even give suggestions because they don't know how to walk in our shoes, and we don't know how to walk. Well, then again, Facts. all right, I'm about to fuck a lot of y'all niggas up with this though. The when, cousins. Oh damn, my fault. My fault. This one of the moments. Y'all know how I get. When it's I cool. Get when I get. Oh, iron sharp and iron. You already know. So. Some women do got to walk in the shoes of a man when they got to raise a child alone. So, then again, I, I probably got to change my answer. But then again, no, a woman still can't teach a man, can't tell a man how to be a man. When a woman has but, to wait, raise a child alone, I feel like she's raising her child as a single mother, not... Like, that's no, the, but some women have taught men how to be men. Like, like if I'm being honest, like... My mom ain't teach me fully how to be a man, but because I had brothers around as well, but my mom still gave me certain tools to where as though I knew how to carry myself as a black man out here. But that's being so, a parent. She just was a parent that loved you and did what she needed to do. But, like, I don't think that's necessarily her playing a gender role in, in, in that. I feel like the things that she couldn't teach you, she didn't. But everything she could, she did. Right, And that's right. how that goes, you know what I mean? But there's always, whether it be a neighbor on the block, whether you have older brothers, a cousin, everyone has male influence and female influence in their life. Yeah. Right. I mean, it depends. The capacity of the relationship, like, varies, but everyone has another gender in their life that's consistently in their life or different ones that are consistently in their life. And those are those shape you to who you, who you are. But I feel like I agree with you. A man can't tell a woman how to be a woman and vice versa. However, we're at right. a time, we're in a time where... There's this like lack of femininity coming mm-hmm. from women. It's this. It's this independent woman. It's this. I don't need a man. It's this. I. I, I don't. Uh, it's this sexy red. F my baby daddy type stuff. It's that whole like culture. Man. Excuse me. It's crazy. It's, it's like that's people, real. <coughs> definitely. It's, it's definitely being influenced in the music. Yeah. And I and think it, and I, it's only being influenced in the music because it's what she feels because that's what a lot of girls feel, which is crazy. Yeah, and I think it's because of just you know like our our our, our growing up, the urban environments that we come into, and a lot of the challenges that women face. Women face a lot of challenges in this world, Facts. you know, coming up. So it's like I feel like it's also a way for them to harden themselves and protect. It's like a sense of them trying to protect themselves. Like I I think if you had to pick somebody to be your protector. You would have an idea of who your protection would look like or what it would be. But they don't shoot. But nine times out of ten, because we know that that's not what's what's happening due to the fact that we have this <coughs> half of my baby daddy culture. Uh-huh. Like because we have this culture, we know that they're not choosing the men that they want to raise their kids because they're choosing no good people because that's why it's F my baby. So it's like they're. I, I could see if that was like what was happening in the world, I I would totally agree. I just feel like it's not realistic. But, like, in a perfect world, I feel like, yes, that's how it should be. You should, like, you should base your partner off of, like, or you're the person you want to be with and have children with. Mm-hmm. You should base that off of, like, things that you maybe liked in your dad, right, or saw in your dad or the male figure in your life. Because the thing about the, the topic itself is that they were really focusing on women who didn't grow with fathers in their house. So it's like if you haven't even, like, experienced a, a man in that capacity as a father. Right. Like, what can you tell me about being a father? What exactly. can you tell me about being like, a father? Like, you don't know. I mean, I don't think that she should be saying anything, if, even if he, she did have a father. I had my dad, my son, my dad, like, but I never would tell a man, like, oh, yeah, you need to, that you're not carrying yourself like a man. That's not what men do. How I know what, what a man yeah, do? Yeah, what, what is it that How what do is I know what a man do? do? I don't care to know what men do. I don't do what men do. I do what women do. So mm-hmm. I don't. Well, you, I mean, when you use that example, Certain women still know how a gentleman supposed to still carry yourself. You yeah, that's what I was saying. Like I'm I think, not about I think you would have I'm like an idea. The hard parts of being a man. There's hard parts about being a woman that I can't. I'm never gonna ask my dad about advice when I'm pregnant. Exactly. But, oh, dad, I'm 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 leaking water. What's going yeah. on, dad? But, like, but I'm gonna what call if my the mom. only person that you got? 
if it's you're the only person I got, but as as a woman, you you are gonna have a relationship with a woman. Yeah, Some woman. That. I'm not saying it's, it could be your. It could be any other woman that has an instrument. It could be a neighbor. Like I said, it could be a coworker. It could be you have a because woman look, in watch life this, bro. That you're gonna call because look, watch this. Dad, as right? a man, as a man, if you had a daughter, you would make sure your daughter was yeah. in touch with another woman that she could talk to about that stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. Right, like, and right. you like you probably had men stuff. That's probably something like that only men go through. That you're not gonna be like, yeah, I can't talk to my mom about this shit. Shit. I did though. You I ain't gonna lie. Mean? I it's did like though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, like people call me crazy, but I done told my mom some of the most bizarre shit about me. But, like, but in, niggas be like, "Yo, this nigga throwed off." Be like, "You gonna get a flag with the profanity?" That's, oh damn! I, but if I you have, hate. but if you have a relationship with like that with your mom, then I can understand that being the case. But I'm talking about more like something that's like only about men. And even if you told her, did she probably couldn't give you the right advice? I'm talking about there has to be one situation in your life where you needed to talk to a man, and a man had to give you advice about it, or or, t- or did give you some type of direction. Because there's right. certain things that only men do, and that's what I mean by women. You got a woman to call if you're like. Pregnant or something or something like a period situation. Like there's a woman to call. You know, I'll call my dad. Like, yeah, what tampon should I get, Dad? Like, yeah. you know what I mean. So like, I grew like, up. I grew up in a, a b- both parent household. I had my mom and my dad growing same, up. Yeah. Blessing, so blessing. yeah, that's a blessing. So I remember it would be times where I would I would try to ask my mom stuff, and my dad would check me like, "Yo, I heard you ask your mom this." Did, don't ask your mom. To, like he would make sure we didn't put our mom in certain compromising questions or positions. You know what I mean? So then we just learned it. Like, dang, I'm not going to involve my mom in some something that was supposed to be between me and my dad, or vice versa. I would realize, like, dang, I'm not going to involve my mom, my dad, in something that's between me and my mom. I'm yeah. a. They told us to kind of like stay out of their relationship. They kind of stayed out of ours, but we had our. It was like we was just smart enough to know, like, this is a mommy and daddy thing. Yeah. This is a dad and son thing. This is a dad and mom thing we knew we have what the balance was to keep for what yeah and it wasn't like like we was being sneaky or crafty it just was like what it was what it was you just kind of know i have a question for both of you do you guys think that men and women are created equal no i think that we're created for for rules i think we're created equal with but we have different rules and, and we were equally strong at two different things like what role god created us for like god created a woman for a certain role and she's going to be her strongest at that a male could never be his strongest in that area like you know but what i mean strength is equal, just but the strength is equal it's diverted I differently love that answer absolutely yeah. that's i okay. can i i can agree I like with that, that. Thank Thank you. You. Thank I, you. I, I, how y'all put that i can agree with that yeah, that's how I feel. I feel like a lot of a lot of people are like into the. I've had this conversation with hella people, and they're always like, "Yes." I'm always just like, "Right." I ain't having this conversation with y'all. Never mind. Right. Because for real, for if you look, if you look y'all at are it, like that, one without the other is it, it throws it all balance. It's like a, a, a man without a woman is like it's it's everything, not balanced. Everything needs feminine and masculine balance. The whole mm-hmm. world let drive. There's feminine and masculine balance in all of us, and there's an imbalance in the women who try to tell. Men, how to be men. They mm-hmm. have this thing. Have you ever seen this thing where it'll be like, like, uh, let name a female name. Christina. Okay. It'll yeah. be like King Christina. Like, like what? Why can't, yeah. like, being like, yeah, like good enough? Like, so, like, you're acknowledging that a king is higher than a queen? And the queen got more well, freedom on the no, chessboard. No, but wait, you're acknowledging that she the king is higher than the king. They... But she, no, 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 no. It's the girliest of girls. It's regular girls. It's a phenom- It's a trend thing. I'm telling you. They don't. It's not that they're like they're not gay. They're not part of the LGBT. Well, maybe they community. got some type of. It's a hyper masculinity in yeah. in females. That's what it is. Is what I'm, t- I'm telling you. Maybe they this got is a little why, thing there. I, this can, is can, I, can I can I no. can I can I input something? I'm gonna tell you why though. I think I, I identified a bit from my personal experiences why that is. And that's because as fathers, they usually raise their daughters like in a way. And fathers usually raise their daughters in such a way like to raise them like, listen, you know, you're at the top of the food chain. Nobody's good enough for my daughter. I'm the best. Boom, boom, boom. So daughters just tend to be growing up with this false sense of like reality of like, you know, what their what their worth is. Not saying their worth is lower, right. but just like what their accurate worth is. The, the Bible actually says that women are supposed to be to help me. So yeah. when it was when you take a woman who maybe if she she may be spoiled maybe her father does everything for her maybe her parents and maybe she's you know has a lot done for her maybe the guys that she date does a lot of things for her whatever the case may be so she may be spoiled and remember what we was talking about earlier about work yeah. and laziness maybe 
it comes from a, a bit of laziness, right? Being a, maybe a little bit spoiled so too. Like Where yeah, it's like a privilege. So if I have to be a helpmate, but I don't have to help you. Yeah, that and that, but see, that yeah. goes down to the mindset of a person because I was spoiled to death by my dad. Still am. I could like so mindset. Yeah, still it's a see. mindset. I work hard as nails because I want to. Like you want to. I went from getting money from my dad every single weekend to begging to get a job. But because you wanted to do it. There's a lot of people money. like that. That's how my know. wife is. She she wants to work. She likes to do stuff because she she has to do it. I mean, because she wants to do it. So so even though you were spoiled. Did he still teach you the importance of hard work? Absolutely. That's okay, why I work so then. hard. That's right. why you work hard then because right. he gave it to you from both spectrums. But we yeah. you can be spoiled, but you still can work it's hard your, as well. Yeah, so it's, now it's what basically, if you, it's not it's not you're spoiled. It's not you're spoiled because you're spoiled. It's it's spoiled you're spoiled because you work hard. My parents earned uh raised us off of the reward system, so we did our yeah. chores, we got allowance. Yeah. Every okay. Tuesday when the CDs come same out, we can yeah. go to we get a new C D plus our allowance. I'm good. Like I got my money to go to the mall on the weekend. I got the new CDs. I'm lit. Like what else do but I But this need? is all like, but this is more so know? about like, the woman who didn't have fathers though. Yeah, they're focusing on the women who didn't have fathers. So you know, so, so, you know, when you got a girl damaged. who, yeah, because listen, when you got a girl who don't have a father, the dads are not like non existent. They're usually raised a child, like, right. sp spoiled them. Like, since yeah. I wasn't there and I'm not there for you. But right. I'm talking about the ones who, like, don't have a father at all. Like, like don't even know him. Like, yeah. don't either don't know him. He's been locked up forever. He got killed. So like, hard, we're talking so about then that, women so then who the, don't so have then the, So lives. then the stepfather might jump in and play that role to spoil Maybe, the daughter we're role. we're talking about ones who don't have any, like, they have male influences outside of the household, but I'm talking about within the household. Because what I'm saying, that's that's the key, to, that's the important thing. Like, if they didn't have a man in the household, how can, you don't know how a man conducts himself in the household. So how so can you, they know how, how, how to. How can you speak on it? As, that's fair. You know what I mean? That's you facts. can't, you can't. And it's not, I'm not shading them. Like, they're damaged people. Well, they're damaged people by, by nature because of circumstance, but they can right. change that. They don't have to be damaged. True. You know what I mean? You can easily, easily, easily heal yourself. You just have to work hard. Thanks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's people think that they want an easy fix for everything. You don't get an easy fix. You have an easy answer, and it's a hard, long way to go. Yeah, but How a lot of bad people, do you want it? But that's the thing. A lot of, not bad, because a lot of what? people say that they want it bad, but they be content being exactly where they Because when, it, when yeah. it comes to the work, that's what I was saying, that laziness part. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the the fact where you got to put the work in, when you come to when you come to the table and you got to work, does, is a girl the reason why they telling you what a man should be? Because they're creating the image of a man that's doing all the work. That's right. Like, I had, yeah. a, I had yeah. a friend, right? I had a girlfriend. I'm thinking I'm thinking of her right now. And we're like we're cool. We're not like, like we're, there's no beef or none. We're just not like as close anymore. Um, and yeah. because of things like this, what I'm about to tell y'all, she literally was like, she would like fight her, her men that she was in a relationship with. She would fight them, like fist fight them and like really like get, get at them crazy and like stuff like that. And, um, she would just be like, she would like apologize to them and be like, I don't know. I'm just, I have to protect myself. Like I never, I, I never, ha I never been protected. I have to protect myself. Wait, 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 wait a fuck. Uh huh. I it's stopped. cool. You got it. What? I didn't say the full thing, so we're it's good. It's cool. We good. We good. No worries. We don't have to keep it. Are you mean to tell it. me that she's telling people about? She's telling other women about their worth about getting hit by men. No, but no. then doing the hitting two men. No, no, no. That's not what's happening. Let me All finish. Right. No. What happens is she. So, okay, argument happens, right? Him, her, argument. Um, yeah, pussy, da 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 Doing some, he pushes her, now they fist fighting, right? This happens often, whatever. She's the type to, you B-A-N, you B-A-N. So she's, so, so she's invest, so she's instigating. She's, just she's baiting she's, them into. She's not the baiting head. them, she's just indulging into a fight, right? She's just indulging into you, it. You, that doesn't sound like indulging if yeah, that if do sound like that do sound like being first. She instigating, but, but we're not. But I'm not talking about. Just let me finish. Okay. There's not. It's, yeah, I can't get <laughs> can't it out. Lisa, can't, like, let me get the vision out. I can't figure it out. So no, we listen. So let me just get out. So the thing is, it's I'm not talking about one instant. I'm talking about multiple instances. Sometimes she started. Sometimes he started. Sometimes she was beat up. Sometimes he was. This was. Like, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to like help you understand the nature of the relationship, and then I'm going to tell you what she said and how it relates. Right. Yeah. So basically, she would come. I would be like, you got to get your shit. You got to get yourself together. You know what I mean? You can't keep doing this. And she would say to me things like. 
well, you know, I've never, I've always had to protect myself, and that's why I'm so hard. I'm, I feel like, you know, I gotta be the man and the woman. And it's just like you're not even doing anything you need to be doing. That's number one, and two, like you're, you're like the situation called for this toxic city to happen, right? The mm-hmm. way they got together, toxic, like. Everything toxic about the situation. So for you to sit here and say that you're masculine because you need to protect yourself, but you engage as much as he does in the fight. Like some, like I say, she don't always start it. He don't always start it. But it, it's equal, right. right? It's equal. It's equal combat. And for you to even engage in it, because I don't engage in stuff like that. I don't like have those issues. But if I did, I don't engage. I walk away. I, I don't like that kind of stuff. So right. she's more basically like, oh yeah, that's what you want to do. Well, I'm gonna do this. Well, I'm gonna do this. Well, I'm gonna do it like back and forth thing. So then she's like playing victim by saying, well, it's because I didn't have a dad in my life and I don't have this in my life and I just don't know what I, you know, I have to be strong for myself. And it's like Whoa. that's a cop out. That's well, just. I don't know. Well, I don't like to necessarily. I don't like to necessarily. Yeah, because right. I don't like the like, victim shame people. Right. Right. But like, listen, it's like it's weird. Lee, like she was. Being... I don't like the victim shame people at all. Too though. On one hand, How too. How is she because... a victim when she's so, no, so, so, equally so, no, just... engaged in the combat? But oh, you bro. never know. You yeah. I'm just saying. Like far as like some people do be having like trauma where it's like that they, they're going to react that way. Like depending yeah, on. I like, know like, everything the, about this person. My problem with the whole situation. I'm just speaking for the for the broad for the internet. Yeah. Because I know the person like she talking about. She didn't got say like her name, but I just already know. And it's like I literally watched her stop a young lady, even though Bull was in the wrong, but she sent some type of abuse. And she telling her, yeah, know your worth, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But say so you playing that role of know your worth and and don't and don't mess with an abusive guy, but then on on the other end, Facts. you in the situation or been in a situation where you've been victim and caused in the problem as well. Yeah. yeah. It's like baby It's like girl, a little narcissistic, a right? Grandiose yeah. narcissism. It's nar- yeah. top, top top class it's narcissist. Up it's up there. It's, it's just hard. crazy. And it's like she probably think that she gotta be a man because she got the chin like one. So it's like I get it. All right, you know what? We really do gotta go to a break though, y'all. We we, <laughs> we, we gonna go, go to a break. break. We gonna say that thing. Break with that one. Yeah, no, that was an interesting topic though, because we all got a lot of like feelings on that we all gotta that's where the comments we know y'all gonna watch back ch- tap in the comments watch the video back whatever this is where y'all can get some feedback or whatever the case may be but more of the story um a woman can't tell a man how to be a man and a man can't, can't tell, tell a, a man woman how to be a woman exactly and we and we're equal and the, and, the, and the power is distributed equally like so as a woman is strong and a woman's right and the male is strong and the male is right exactly but in but in their own respective life Exactly. Everybody play their position, but the problem is a lot of women don't know how to play their position and a lot of men don't know how to play, know how to play it neither. We're going to break on that one, though, but I'm going to give it to y'all. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to give it to y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> give, give, give. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ranting Raving Podcast. We're right. about to get into our next topic of the night, which is, which is hoflation. Woo. I don't know if you guys Woo. know what hoflation is. I don't know if you heard about it, but we're going to get into it. So, hopefulation, it, well, let me put it like this. Remember back in the day when your grandpa pulled your grandma and, you know, she he didn't really have to do too much. Like, he had a steady job. Wow. He wasn't out in these streets wilding. He talked respectful. He looked nice. And she was bagged. She bagged, right? She was wilding. able to cook. She was able to clean, have his kids, raise them well, do his drawers, like, wash his dirty drawers, all that, right? She was able to... You know, do what she needs to do in the bedroom. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm she took care of home, right? She took care of business. And all he had to do was have a steady job, pay the mortgage, you know what I mean? Make sure he made sure he took care like he it was minimal effort, right? Now, during the times of hoflation, you got these women who don't want to cook. Or they mm-hmm. don't want to clean, what? or they don't want to whatever. They don't want to. They're not. They talking crazy to you. They b a n and you all that types of stuff. Mm. And you're doing the most though. Now you're not even doing what your grandpa did. You're doing like a hundred times over what your grandpa did, and he's getting a hundred times less of what your grandma was. Mm. And so that is what we call hoflation. Let's get into it. Let's right? get into so it. That's how y'all think. Y'all think this is a real thing, or is it like a, a fake thing? Is an internet thing? I me. You want to go first, Nick? No, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, my, my Drake, ahead. my fault. Well, like, for me, I kind of think it's a little bit of an internet thing because I think, like you said, like, a lot of women do want to be women that's taken care of, so they're going to want to do their job. But it might, it is probably, it is the flip side where it is some girls that don't do that because they don't have the, like, the you know, the knowledge they wasn't brought up like that. So 
that kind of touched back onto the woman who didn't have fathers or whatever, maybe. Or maybe they didn't have mothers. Their upbringing was a little tight. Um, but from, from my experience, not saying I was out there like that, but the, a lot of the women that I met that was in the streets, they could cook. Like some of the some of the, the loose girls, they was the main ones mm-hmm. that could cook and they keep their like, house will clean. Will they cook on a regular basis? Will, right. they, cook? will they talk right. back? Like if he tell you just shut up, just as over shut up, are you going to shut up and it be over? Or are you going to keep talking? No, you can't. That's the thing. Yeah, that's so where yeah, you like, can't. It's, like, it's, it's so not hard. Just to, one or two yeah. things. They could do one or two things, but can they do them all? Right. You can't tell no girl to shut up no more. They going they going to kill you. So you ain't getting no food. You are gonna get poison in your food or something. Yeah. That's facts. Like it ran poison. <laughs> crazy. Yo, these itches is wildin'. Yeah. See. Um. No. 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 no I, go ahead. I, go ahead, go ahead. I, I ain't know you was done. My fault. No. No. I was done. Go ahead. Go ahead. So. All right. Hopeflation. <laughs> the problem with these hoes is right. The problem with these hoes. I'm gonna start out there. The problem with these hoes <laughs> is that. They want, like Pink said, they want the man to carry it like the men did back in the day. They take care of everything in the household, but they don't want to do anything on their end of the bargain. Like, so basically, you want to, you want the traditional husband, but you don't want to be the traditional wife. Right. Like, let's, like, like that's the that's the problem right there. They think that it's too good to cook. They think that they too good to wash some clothes. They think that they too good to wash dishes. And the problem is, how can women think that they too good to so do that, any of that? Go ahead, my fault. My fault. I don't mean to cut you off, but I don't think that's like the just the washing clothes and the washing dishes is the only thing. I think it's more so to do with like, are you going to help to like to get the male in a position to where he can be the person that takes care of everything? Like, because then be because you got to start somewhere. So if you mar- obviously if you don't marry a dude that's already a multi millionaire, like, then why would he choose you? That's where you got. That's where you got to bring that stuff to the table. But, but well, you already well, a multi millionaire. Okay. But listen, if if you starting from an even playing field. Field and a woman they, they and a, a average guy who needs to be, advance himself in the kingdom kingdomship he needs a woman who's going to help him do that rather as he might be wanting to start a barbershop is she going to sign the paperwork is she going to figure out a way well here's the thing now 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 ho oh, we going into a whole nother realm that get tricky i'm gonna tell you how they get tricky that gets that gets tricky because right when women start doing stuff on that level, now that's stepping away from wife. Like that's that's stepping away from traditional wife. No. Traditional wife status. That's stepping into now modern day partner no. like partnership as a wife. Because nowadays people doing that on some like partnership like it's like their wife, like, all right, she's helping him out on like the finances. So no, that's, she can that's, say I help build No, that. no. That's far from the fact. I ask the reason why I'm so adamant about this specific topic is because I asked my mother about this. Right, I was talking to her about it. So me and my mom sitting in the car one day. We coming home from work and we talking about that. And my mom will often say like, you know, don't take the woman out of a woman. A woman is going to play a certain role. And she was saying to me. How as a woman don't want to naturally don't want to sit home and twiddle her fingers and do nothing. She doesn't want to like not do anything. She wants to do something like that's they women are actually if even if you look in the animal kingdom, the, the female lion does the hunting okay. and stuff like yeah, that. Right. Absolutely. So women are very useful. They're way more useful than like we is. But they so when they so when they get so what, are. All women are useful. That they, that we are supposed. That's what it is. But you're when saying you, that they're more you, useful than like we are. Some of them are. Well, not all are, bro. But that was the, that was in but the first conversation. Yeah, not all people are. Yeah, not all people person, are yeah. When it comes down to and it, it don't it comes down to worth ethic of the person or like yeah. Yeah, because like that just depends on the two right people dating. Because you could say she's not useful to you, but it might be another uh, uh, bloke that you know is she's very useful to. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's it depends on a female, right? Like it's. Is she going to be willing to be that again? Remember, I said earlier to help me. Like so, that is like as a tradition. A man back in the day when they were going out and they were doing work and stuff like that, their woman supported that work that they was doing. So if a dude work at if you work at a factory, you don't got time to wash your clothes and and to come home and cook because that was around the clock, twelve hour shifts. You got kids; it was tiring. So the woman was able to support you with that. Nowadays, our jobs that we got that we do today is is not 
we don't work in no factory iron steel mill burning coal. We don't right. work like that no more. We have a little. The, the times has changed. Right. So now you might want to own a barbershop or open a water ice truck store or whatever the case may be. So you need to have a, a woman that's going to help you with that. Like and so it's like what she the question that she asking is like what say the exact question again. Um. It was just, it wasn't really a question. I just was getting you guys uh, feedback input. But the thing the is, though, right, I yeah, feel, where you, oh, yeah, I feel yeah. exactly where you're coming from. But at the but at the same time, you got to look at it like this. Not all women is going to play that role. Exactly. So That's the, the hard woman, part. let's say she's not at home all day, but let's just say that, you know, she work a little part-time job. Whatever. I don't give a fuck Let's say if she worked a full-time job as well, right? Yeah. She worked that full-time job, but she still don't pay all the bills. I pay every single last bill in this house. Why should I have to come home and still cook? Because this is why, like, so with that dynamic, especially before you have, I tell this to everybody, all my younger couples before they even have kids, because once you have kids, this method gets a little bit more tricky. But... As a male, right, and as a female, as a couple, if you're making, let's say you make thirty five, sixty five thousand dollars a year, right, and that's what you make, and you got a woman who works too, she might make thirty five, sixty five. Y'all might make the same, or one person makes more. Well, two people, especially before you have kids, you can share one income. Everything I eat, you can eat. Everything if if I'm by myself. I, the heat burning, I'm going to be warm. If you come in and join me, the heat's still going to be burning. It's going to be warm. So let's say I make 35 and, and my my spouse or my partner, whatever, they, you know, she makes 65. We could live off my 35. We don't got to do – and for this is for the this is for the first year. We don't have – you don't have to spend $65,000 a year. At the end of the year, right, you need to, to have a, a woman. This is why where the whole inflation part comes in because they don't be willing to do this part. You need to have a woman that's willing to say, all right, I'm going to go and work. I'm going to live on your $35,000 a year salary, right? 30, whatever salary. I'm going to live off that and I'm going to save mine. We're not planning trips. We're not about to go buy super duper wardrobes. We're not showing up at every one of my family events. We're not wasting no money nowhere. We're going to live frugal. I'm going to save my bread. And at the end of the year, this $65,000. Me and you going to figure out what to do with this. Are we going to go another year and double this 65 again? Are we going to put $65,000 into what are we going to do with this? Having a partner who going to be like that, you not that's where you that's where you that's where we not connecting with women to but the point my where my thing is my fault. Pink. Let me just say this one thing though. But I I hear you, but we just went through a whole year of me of us living off my money. And we just saved just 65, but we ain't touched the 65, but you ain't did a damn shiznit, shiznit no, all yo. year, but just saved 65. No, you saved she's, 65 she, she's working. She, yeah, she's, she's working. Earning she's working too. Hey, yeah, she's, she's earning it. She's earning it, but it's like, what did she do for me? Nothing. That, well, y'all, we all, the that's the, te that's the so team the part. Process, we washing so, laundry so together. I think like what he's trying to more, so I, I think we're getting caught up on the actual example, but generally I think what you're trying to curb me from wrong, what you're trying to say is you want someone who's going to be willing to invest in with you as you are willing to invest in something bigger. Yeah. So like at the end of the year, the 65 that they saved, they're going to take that and invest into a business and, and make we, the business grow or save another 65 and invest in that. Now we, now we got over, now, now we got over, yeah, but now we, now yeah, we just made our me, first, now, look, now we like just that. made our first a hundred grand. waters right there. Exactly. And, and, and then that's, now that's whole inflation. But like what it comes down to, what it comes down to, and I'm going to say this is what I'm about to say for as far as like, as far as someone, you're saying you just want someone who would just like, like support, support you, support like going after your dreams, right? Or they'd be willing to like pull up and invest in you and so, someone to support you doing all this. But my thing is that is a normal, healthy relationship. That yeah, ain't nothing but, special. But we were saying, we were saying like how the the traditional relationships in the past, how you had grandpa. But who there went wasn't to work as and took care of his exactly. That's why. So, so, so I, that's what so I'm saying. So I was modern. I was modernizing it. Now. But my Whereas thing you is, don't have a you don't have a, a, a sorry not to cut you off. You don't have a woman who's gonna stay at home and raise kids and cook and clean no but more. But you have women. But that you now have. But yeah. But we not. That's not. I'm, I, 
I don't think most men is interested in that anymore because, like, we can. That's a, a task that we both can share and work together. Now, what's more interesting is having a partner, right? As a as a traditional man, whereas you have a, a partner who's going to help you become the man who owns a, a two three hundred thousand dollar business. I feel yeah, what you're but, saying, but I don't think that that every person because not every person wants to own a two hundred thirty thousand dollar business. All right, business. true, but, but you can't. Part, but like the problem, the problem with being facts about that on this show, and I'm going to tell you this. I always end up bringing it back to music or entrepreneurship or business ownership. And we, this is a general, we have to think generally. Everybody it's really not, hard. everybody it's don't really want to, yeah. not to think that way because your mind is conditioned. But for the average person, they don't, they're not thinking about owning their own business. They're thinking, they're, okay, I'm going to punch this clock and hopefully I can make it on vacation this year. They ain't worried about that. But that's why so you many, know? that's that's why so many people are not happy in their relationships because a guy well, will go and try to take care of a woman who doesn't necessarily want to be taken care of. She wants but, to be useful. Women are useful. My thing is, though right if they want to be here's if they want to be right that's true they supposed to be and anyway. me as a man i never want to do nothing like that wow because my thing is i'm never taking all of your money and starting any type of business because it's our money it, see the thing is it becomes it listen it got to become legally our money like it got to be in our bank account well if that's it's not in if, if that's it's not why in you marry our bank account that's why you marry all right because but but still, though, bro, you got to look like this. In divorces, it even get messy because she can say, well, it was, I earned all that money and I put it up for the business. Like, things get messy like that. It so it's like, so it like a, for me, I rather he's come. Speaking, he's speaking facts, though. If we're going to come together, I'd rather meet you halfway financially so it, so it never be no problem like that. My thing is, I'm not saying that my woman got to cook for me every night. I'm not saying that she got to wash every every load of clothes. I'm saying like this. I at least want to know that if I'm going to pay all the bills in the house, if I'm going to make sure that your life is good and you have no worries, I at least want to know that sometimes I could I, I could I could come home to just a meal or I could come home what? to just you pouring me a, a glass of wine and saying, mm-hmm. babe, how was your day? And just letting me vent the way that I would let I you guess. vent as well. That's all I'm saying. I wanted to be 50, 50 on like that front because I would cook for my girl sometime. I'm not going to lie. I would even wash her clothes for her as well. I would, I would do the things that she would do. All right, let me I'm just saying I don't want quick. it to be one way all the time. But you're saying that you're paying a hundred percent of the bills, correct? Right. So her job would be to cook, to clean, to make sure you have wine poured. What are you talking about? Like that is her. You know, but I hope he's saying doing, modern. It, modern. Not, that's I, not. No, that's but, not that, it, but yeah, but, because I feel no, like. No, that. but listen. There's modern and there's traditional, right? Right. Traditional would be paying all the bills. So in turn, all you don't have to worry about nothing but paying those bills. Modern is going fifty fifty. Facts. That's not. That's not. No, modern is not going 50-50. But why it's isn't both, it though? It's, it's okay. Even if it's not fifty fifty, it's both. Listen, it's both contributing, right? Like you said, the example you brought up includes both parties. Because I believe in the fifty to a certain goal. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We that. know the end goal. It doesn't matter. But I'm saying they're both contributing. Because why says so if that's modern, all right? So traditional, but why says a traditional relationship? Then in, in that instance. What does the woman do? You saying that her job is to cook and clean? That's if, not if I said yeah. if, be clear about what I said. I said if all the bills are being paid. If all the bills are being paid, then yes, then she okay. has no reason because what else are you doing but what are you doing? Fiddling your thumb. No females don't right. want to do that. And they don't want to so do that. So that's what I'm saying. But how so how will, how that. how will a traditional I mean a modern day male pay all the bills and then watch this here's the kicker. We could easily go live on Susquehanna and Dolphin for uh, seven, eight, hundred uh, dollars uh, a month, right? And go to the, the public school around the corner. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, you as a man, this as a man, you want that for your family, or you want to go like a little bit somewhere, a little bit more, a little bit I more nicer go somewhere neighborhood. Way out the hood. So now, so now you thinking about buying a home, right? So now you right. thinking about buying a home. You thinking about uh, t- uh, modern cars, two of them at least, right? Um, you thinking about so now when you looking at that, like if that's your modern, if this is your modern day, what today in America is your average black man going to do to just be able to figure out how to but do that by himself from the game? No, 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 no. It's, it's ways get, to make that happen. I though. get what you're saying. It's not realistic for that to happen, and you're absolutely right. However, right. you have to understand that. A man is only going to offer to pay other bills if he can afford to. If he can afford so to. So my whole thing is if you talk, oh, yeah, baby, I got it, and you don't got it, you're now a fraud, so there's no relationship. You feel me? Yeah. So the, the, the point becomes you if you're only offering that opportunity, if you can provide that opportunity. If exactly. you cannot provide that opportunity, you're not going to offer. So that's 
We're not even worried about See, how they're going to get the that, money because if you, you either that, have a supportive spouse or you don't. Yeah, that's, that's the just whole it's what it comes right. down to. It's either. So that's what it comes down to. That's how I to. feel, right? I'd rather have a female that's willing to get in the trenches with me. Facts. And like. Run it with me, like until we it, get to the point. Until that was, we get that, to where we going. That was that example I was making, yeah, like where, no, we, no, no, where no, we take no, the sixty five, where we I live off that, my thirty five. No, you tuck your sixty five. I'm not even saying you pay all the bills and like she said. I'm I'm saying she taking on that monthly load with you, even though some months you gonna give her off, but some of the, like most of the time she taking on you. Know what I'm saying like that. Taking on, you know what I'm saying, that monthly load with you, but also y'all stacking that bread next to get what y'all got to get to. What I'm saying to both of you is what we're describing is a healthy relationship. There's nothing that's, special about that's it. That's not whole-flation. No, no but the thing that's is, not whole though, but I'm saying but that's, a, that's is, a healthy relationship. That's support. Women, not a lot of a lot of these city girl type women, they're not with that. They not trying to help. None, of the, city girl, the, none of the city girls are with that because that's why no. they're city girls. They want, and the city boys can't provide it. That's why they they're city want, boys. They cake yeah. and eat it. They want to... And, 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 Pretty and much that's somebody that's rich. Them, that's why they a lot feel of them like, mess with scammers. They feel like they shouldn't have to help you make it to the point where y'all both rich together. Well, so then they wind is, up... It's so, it's so much more beautiful when you can actually come up with the person that you love. Exactly. Especially I feel the same way. If y'all about that business life... I feel the same if way. If y'all come up together, oh my God, it's, it's it's just so beautiful. It is. If that's the best way, I feel like. But not, like I said, not everybody's down for a ride like that. Not everybody wants that. Some people literally just want to clock in every day as long as they can pay their bills and get hit one vacation per year. They're fine with that. Yo, you every, right. We have to understand that. Yo, Pink Lee is we, right. What we want is not what everyone wants. So everyone is going to make adjustments in their life to get what they want. So if you're a female and you want to be a kept female in terms of like not having to work, then you need to keep a man who's going to have you in a position where you don't want to work. But the problem is with hoflation is that these men are do going above and beyond, but women aren't keeping and holding up their end of the bargain in terms of what's understood, what's implied. If, if I'm paying all the bills, it's implied that you would at least keep the house that I'm paying for up, correct? Right. That's implied. Right, right. Like, it's like one of those types of things. It be so. making me mad because they like, I'm not your cooker or cleaner or da 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 da. And you know what, bro? Yeah. It, be, it, be the, it, it be the chicks that want... What the... Huh? Oh. Uh. So, yeah. It be the... Move the house but do you the think... Phone. Yo, I just had an idea, chicks. though. I just had an idea. Uh -huh. Do you think the guys that do all the paying all the bills and stuff, do you think that they be a little bit c controlling or maybe a little bit vindictive or maybe not so, as likable? Because, listen, why would a girl that got all that stuff not really want to do that stuff? Is it because the, the guy is being vindictive or controlling? Like, listen, I do I pay all the bills, so you got to well, do what I want. If he's they vindictive just, controlling, he, she's definitely going to fall in line and do it because it's going to turn into... Uh, okay. Verbal abuse, which turns into physical abuse. So she's right. going to do it. So she's going to do it, if right. If it's any anytime else, a woman is lazy and trying to get over, she's the scammer in the situation. She's the scammer. It's 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 almost like a bargain in a way. It's like and and I don't and I don't mean to make it cheap in it, but it's just like even even if it's a different situation, even if like okay, I'm going to work and you work in the house or vice versa or whatever. Like it's like it's different. It depend. Everyone's situation is I'm different. I'm taking so up for depends. these. I'm taking up for these girls, but you're right. I definitely dated a girl yeah, before like, I used to go to work. Man, I used to come home, and I'd have bought her food from last week, ordered out last week, and that joint still sitting on the yeah, table like, beside us. It's like if you have if you have a woman and you're and you're out working, you out working, and she's out working, she's out working, and y'all both like one day you cook, he cook, or one day if y'all both are working and bringing mm -hmm. in income. Then you both share the responsibility. Yeah. However, that looks like for your relationship, though, because maybe that's like looks a team like, thing. Yeah, it's a team thing. It's however it works for you. But I feel like as long as we're understanding that that you can't like you can't expect something without giving something back, it's reciprocity. Like you can't. It can't See, the happen. thing is though, but it be the it be the it be the it be the chicks that got the standards of the nigga better pay these bills or he better do this Where or he better get do that, that standard? right. From the niggas, but and um, and their upbringing, parents. Not even their parents, because it's like it's a lot just of times. A listen, lot of they, man, a lot of dudes day, teach their daughters. Women. A lot of a lot of people teach their daughters. Listen, a man better take care of you. He better do yeah, everything for you. But they also teach them how to take care of men, the ones that is the good yeah. ones. Yeah. And like the thing is, is that these chicks ain't like adapting that. It be these chicks that's literally. It be these chicks. 
Motherfucker. <laughs> it be these chicks that want all this top class stuff from the from the guys. Right. But they the ones that can't even make no baked macaroni and cheese. They up there making pot macaroni and cheese with the with the little like with the little cheese sauce and then sprinkling <laughs> it up. That ain't that ain't no for real macaroni reason, and cheese. For some like, reason, you want me, a man to pay all the bills though. Yeah, for some reason, me, I just don't want no food from no girl. I don't know what it is, but I just don't. I, cooking and cleaning don't amount to like. I I don't think a woman nah, could feed me nah, with I that. Mean, I would appreciate it and admire it. It's nice, but I don't. I just don't. For some reason, that's just not top on my list of so like. Bro, I, I'm just saying. I need to know that I don't gotta order out. I need to know that I don't gotta cook for myself sometime. If especially like I'm doing all this for you, so I need to know this. that, bro. Like it, it, it just, it just come with that. From a female's perspective, I feel like if you really love and care about your man, you kind of like oh, have you. a tendency to want to nurture. So as I, I'm a feminine female and I want to nurture, so I'm going to cook for my man and I'm going to enjoy cooking for it and I'm going to make sure he likes it. That's I'm what I care about. What nurturing. He likes more than what he likes. Yeah. I, I'm going to make sure his clothes are clean. This I'm nigga make be sure, getting like, meals. Like, like, no. Nurturing. Yeah, like, I'm going to make sure because that's there something. You go. It's not even like so much of what's expected from me. It's about what I, how Observe. I want to honor the man yes. I love and respect. You feel right. There you go. So I feel like that's why I say it depends on the relationship. Like when you actually love Love and actually, if you actually, when you actually like your partner, yeah, you gotta be clear. Some of these girls, they don't even like them. the guys that they with. Yeah, you start They're watching like, oh, and you see what they like. Bills, oh, he the one. So it's and like that's you know, the thing. A lot of these relationships nowadays be contract based. Yeah, what can yeah. you do for me? Yeah. yeah. I like That's that nurturing part where the where the woman is paying attention to you, where she makes you feel like she's well, paying women attention. Women are naturally nurturers, so yeah. if we're tapping into our femininity, then we know that we're nurturers. Like we yeah. should know that we should hone in on that. But women yeah. are too busy trying to be King Ashley, so we'll never know. Yeah, um, and I and I like and I, <laughs> like, I'm not like drives me, it, no, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. It drives me crazy when. We're our feminine and our King feminine ass. beings. We want to be so masculine. We want to. Mm. We want to call guys bans all the time. We want to get rowdy and get Yo. in their faces if we're gonna fight them. Like you're not right. fighting. Like I how really about, can't say about my wife? Man hits you how about back, my wife's name is Ashley? Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, Ash. No, it's but cool. like, yeah, when a man hits you back just as hard as you hit, hit him, then now it's a problem. Now you want to pull <laughs> out a knife. <laughs> Like, now you want to do something crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. did he put his hands on me? Like, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Then you right. just so. Like, no. right. We're about to go on a break. <laughs> Definitely. We'll That's be what, right back, this was it. This was an interesting topic. I like that. I'm going to go home and watch Chicago Mad, Chicago Fire, and Chicago PD. You really do this TV tonight. shit. <laughs> Wait, so I love them. All of them, like, they all come on in one night. I watch them all back to back, bro. Like, we said, having a good PD, time, man. Man, fire and PD, yo, bro. I'm a TV watching connoisseur, bro. I love, bro. I'm so happy that TV is back. I'm so happy, like, the writer strike is over. Y'all don't understand what, what that means to me. Like, I'm, you making all that, bro? I am so excited. Bro, right. We about to get into some juicy. We back, we back, we back. Are we live? We live. We definitely live. We're live. We're live. All right, guys. Welcome back to Ranting Raving Podcast. We're about to get into our last few segments of the evening. We're about to get into the Jay-Z speech before we get into mentality. Uh, uh. So, Jay, as y'all know, if you watch Words of Wisdom, if you know Pinkley, you know that Jay-Z is my GOAT. Number one of all time. Don't care. Not arguing. Don't debate me. Uh, uh. Um, <laughs> I absolutely adored his speech. Um, I felt like I felt like it was first. So for one, let's just like one. I love how Jay Z and Beyonce refer to each other like publicly. Every we know they're married. We know they're together. I love how coy they are with each other um, in public. Like I, I, just, I love it. It's like it's still so flirtatious. It's romantic in a way. Like I think it's so cute. Um, Number two, I thought it was very powerful to make, for him to make those statements with Blue Ivy by his side. Um, his, showing his daughter, you know, how to stand up for him, how to stand up for yourself in a classy way, you know, without disrespecting anybody, you know, still being still being charming. Like there were so many great characteristics he was able to show off in that speech with his daughter right by his side, learning, taking it all in, and it was just so powerful. Um, I'm not, I don't really support the Grammys like that. Um, 
you know, for obvious reasons. I'm right. I'm an indie I'm an indie lover, indie supporter. Um mm -hmm. and I just they don't play fair and that's just what it is. And that's fine. They just don't you know, just what it is, what it is. But right. you know, Jay he he did his thing. He said he said it so eloquently. Yeah, like, he definitely kept it classy. Yeah. It was just beautiful. What did y'all y'all agree? Y'all like this speech? You wanna know what's crazy? I think we were supposed to listen to it in the car coming up here, but we never did. We never did, but and I actually didn't see the. I didn't see it. Oh dang! I forgot you didn't even see yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't even ah. see it. No. Can we get the clip from somewhere? Or no, we can. We, we can I um. Well, I heard them. We can insert the clip here, but basically what he was saying in the clip was um, he was like oh, a quote, rough quote. He said um, you know, some of you guys. Basically, he pointed out the fact that Beyonce has won the 17. most Grammys. Out of anyone, right? Seventeen. She has the most Grammys out of anyone ever, but she also has never won Album of the Year. And they were like, you know, and basically he said, by your own system, the way your system works, that doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. right. So how well, is this a thing? So don't work. And then he said, um, he said that at, at at the towards the end, he was basically saying like, some of you guys will feel like you got robbed tonight, and he said some of you guys may actually get robbed tonight, which was a double entendre. He to go, mm -hmm. and um. But he said, and some of you guys didn't even deserve to be in the same category as some of these people. Like, he mm. called them out. And, like, let's be clear. Like, some of those artists, I'm not going to call artists out by name. We're not, we'll be here all night doing that. But some of these artists don't deserve to, they can't sit with her. And he and they he said, forget her. the Grammys. Like, forget the Grammys for a minute. And, you know, he went on. Speaking. He did his thing. Like, and I feel like, like, those types of conversations are needed if, if, if so, whoever we choose, whoever chooses to to go out and represent real black culture, not like glorified hood black culture, like not hood culture, but real actual black culture, black culture, because there's definitely a difference, and we need to acknowledge that. But like, if we're gonna have the people representing like black culture, it should be nothing less than that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it has to be that. This is what black excellence is. This is how you handle a situation like that. You know, she was wrong, and like even even we were comparing Kanye West, him and Kanye West, right? Mm -hmm. Kanye West did the same thing for Beyonce he in a totally did. different way. You went up when you don't, weren't winning. Don't, it. don't, 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 don't. I love Kanye, right. but just right. because I love someone, you had the one one thing about We're not me. Not going to compare what they did because no, we, we Jay are, was we on are. one that night. You don't it's think it? Like he was you don't so think it was a little bit similar? Though? It doesn't matter. It was. It was. It He's was a grown man. Who it wasn't of his, similar. His it was just the reason why I don't find it similar because. It ain't like he walked up on somebody else's award and did that. Like, Ye was on one, but but what Ye did was more bolder because it's like, all right, literally he walked up on Taylor Swift shit. Well, with sh 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 she's Naeem. There we go. <laughs> he walked up on Taylor Swift, she's Naeem or whatever, and he basically spoke the truth. Yes, in a very rude... Because he was list. drunk. It doesn't matter. He he knows he's at an award show. He's been in the industry long enough to know they feed you nothing but alcohol, so you will do dickhead shit like that. Yeah. Stupid things like that on well, stage. Yeah. They want you to. So my thing I'm is, not you're a grown man who's a, we're not shunning him. We're comparing the two. We're comparing the two. I love Kanye. Like I, always I feel like Kanye. they both did something similar but we're from the be, same spot we're gonna say, in their heart. Let's, meet, let's call a spade a spade. They both yeah. stuck up for Beyonce. Yeah. They both, they did it in two different, they, did, they had the same message in two different ways. Class C, class less. It doesn't matter that he was joking. I'm never making I'm excuses call, for people. I mean, it like, came from the same place in their heart. Because he didn't walk up on somebody's set. Because he didn't he walk up on someone's award. No, he th literally to, that. Literally that. No, literally he that. Chose no, literally to that. take his, his time on his speech of mm -hmm. accepting an award mm -hmm. to speak on that. Which is way different than what Ye did, right? Which what which is the point of the classlessness? That's disgusting. To interrupt, but you gotta think, to, Jay, no, no, no. Let me yeah. finish. To interrupt somebody, right? To come on stage to interrupt and take away someone's moment of, of pride after they worked hard too. I don't, yeah. I don't even like Taylor Swift, so it's no bias. No, let, let me, me finish. Real quick. A, let me ask you a real question though, before you finish. At that time when he did it, did you feel like it was classless? Yes. I don't feel like that. I still agree. The with old this. you, yeah, I don't no, feel like the old you felt like a, that. It's not Fuck about that. the old me or the new me. I I can tell you honestly, did I enjoy it? Yes. Was it wrong? Yes. Two things can be true. What are you talking Two about? Two things I'm can be true. About you can't call it was it Kanye West was, was a little bit classless, yes, but it came oh, from this, come on, it came man. from the same place Just in their heart. Okay, like, okay. Like, how about this? Right? How about this? Take Beyonce's outfit at the at the awards. I love it. Would I wear it? No, it's the same thing. I can love something and not want it for myself. 
I can admire it, acknowledge it, I can appreciate it. And not you one probably of felt like it's not for me. No, no, no. I probably felt like Kanye was going on stage up, classless and ghetto. And I felt like I still loved it. No, I love that shit. It was a high. I don't moment. care. I still, I he still had a moment. It. But if I'm, if but if ah. I'm, but if I'm thinking as the woman that I'm trying to be in Croatia, because they be playing with us. But if as I'm thinking black people. as if, if I'm thinking about yeah, and they play with us because we do ghetto shit like that. That's why they play with us. That's like why like they do it. No, Lee. that's why they still like what Kanye never, West but guess did. What? He'll never get the same respect as Jay Z because Jay Z yeah. carry it like a businessman. Yeah, a businessman is not gonna jump on stage. Oh, oh, oh I'm drunk. Yeah. So let me say something. Like what the fuck? Like exactly. he sounds stupid. He sounds stupid. Kanye period. Point blank. It don't matter. You want easy. you stand out on these on these people so much, and you want to defend everything they do. And I get that. I feel that. But let's call a spade a spade. The nigga Kanye was wrong. Was out of point order. blank. Period. We can still. Love I just what he I just had to learn. I just had to learn how to apologize for being out of order. So yeah, like I, I definitely can, still, can say can, he out of order. We can enjoy things, but it came from the same them. place. It, what I'm I'm just agreeing with, with both of it. It came yeah. from the same place in his heart as Jay Z's yeah, did. But Jay Z. But Jay Z is at the end of the day. He's a married man with a kid, and at the time right. Kanye West did that, we well, obviously he's still he not drunk. married, and he was drunk. Yeah, so right. I think it came from the same place in their heart. But Kanye was out, was, was, was out of order yeah, when he did his. We're talking about a Come grown on. ass responsible man. It like, doesn't matter. It does like, matter no, where, no, because that's because people, like you know what it doesn't matter when to? they get drunk. They so turn why do they get different. drunk if they know they turn into people that's different? You gotta hold yourself accountable as a grown ass adult. I know that I can't man, get no. No, I'm a, no, 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 no. Everyone makes nah, mistakes, she right. right? But we still Lee have right. to hold each self accountable. We gotta hold If I make a mistake, that's cool. But if I don't hold myself accountable, I end up making the same mistake. You have to learn. You only learn once you hold yourself accountable. I'm telling you. Well, that's, maybe that's that just was the facts of life. Because it don't matter. So that's fine. It can be his learning moment, but he's still dead ass wrong, and that's the point of it. That's what we can't get away. From. He, he was wrong. wrong because he was the wrong. thing is, certain time he would hate for someone like, to come take away his moment. Like, he would just, hate for someone to come take away his like, moment. Just like, uh, just like uh, my man Farrakhan said, you, we got to get in a little bit of you good right. trouble sometimes. We got to get in a little, <laughs> little bit, bit of good, good trouble. Good no, trouble. no, 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 no. You know what? Lee, what? He right a little bit. He right a little right bit. The, the, the phrase, good trouble, yeah. You that. disrespecting someone is not. On, because if, what, if, what if Taylor Swift did that to him? How would you feel? Then you go, oh, these white people so entitled. They get everything they want. Then you be on that shit. Be play Dang, fair. Lee be right about that, too. I wouldn't be on that. Because you know what I would say? Pink Lee right about that, too, though. I ain't going to lie. You know what I would say? What? This Mitch is crazy. That's all. That's and all I'm going to say. He still is crazy. Like, yeah, he was we crazy can, for doing it, but to me, he I'm wasn't saying. wrong for doing it. What about, Being disrespectful isn't wrong. Like, but, taking someone's, stealing, that's a thievery. You're stealing someone's moment away from them. And guess them. what? They stole Beyonce's moment. So, look, what he did It wasn't her moment. Black she did it fucking way. What about up, Beyonce? She did do, do we think she deserved the Grammy in the first? Do we Do we think she deserved the award that she was It don't matter if we should have her Hell yeah, last year she deserved album of the year over up Harry Styles. I would always, I will always The thing is, right? You know what? Let me, all right, so look, right? Let's, let's, let's. Let's keep it on hold then for a minute, right? Hove made a lot of good points. When, especially when he said some of y'all gonna get robbed tonight. All right, I'm gonna tell you where the robbery came in that just on one award alone. When they did best new artist, Victoria Monet won. I have nothing against Victoria Monet. I like Victoria Monet. She didn't deserve it. But she didn't deserve that over Coco Jones. Hey, thank you. Not at all. That was just straight robbery. Yeah. Straight robbery. But the see, thing, I didn't get a chance to watch it, so I yeah. See, either. I watched like the tail ending of it, but it's like that. But but that one I court, and I'm sitting back thinking, oh, Warren, yeah, Coco got this one. And when they said Victoria Monet, I said, wait, I only heard two singles on Sirius XM of hers, and I didn't heard a, a lot from Coco. Her motion been way more going than Victoria. How do y'all say that she's the? Wait, how? How do we do that? How well, do we, we get this art? is my thing is we know if there's one thing that we know is, is about like we can use our common sense and find that we know about the Grammys is that it's rigged, it's biased, and anybody, all the record labels are all a part of the voting process. So the record That's labels why we are finna the create who, our like, own. They're the ones who put it in. And yo, 2Ks, pink, 2Ks. <laughs> two I didn't want to see if, uh, um, if she was going to say hi oh, to you. We got we to wrap up because we got a couple more and stuff. So my thing is... um. Yeah, y'all have to understand that when we're talking about the Grammys, we already know we're talking about a biased group of people. We know it's rigged. We know that the that all the big music um, music record labels, they're all the ones Thanks. voting. They're the ones putting their artists in. They're the ones putting a little extra in to get their artist. So we already know this. So we, how, why as artists, as independent artists who take ourselves serious, we can't take the Grammys seriously. 
We yeah, can't take any award show seriously. And then how are you going to... We've cl- seen it time and time again where the numbers don't make sense. We've seen the numbers like be higher, the billboard stays are higher, but these people aren't winning. So we already know this is a pay-to-play type of situation. So it's really... So I, I feel like it's almost like... I feel like it's almost pointless to discuss why a w- artist didn't like go win over an other artist because it's always going to be frustrating because our, the people that we know deserve it are never going to see it. Well, so in turn, this is when I say, even drawing back to Kanye, this is why I say he acted an asshole as if he doesn't know this. Like, come on, boy, well, you know this. Yeah, awards. he's supposed to know but better. Even still, Kanye West was supposed to know better. Show in general, he knows it's like. Like well, Kanye is the one. Kanye is the one who's been putting us on. He knows that it's rigged. He knows all about well, it. So that's what I'm saying. We like, know added, for a like, fact but, li- but Lee, is rigged. Lee, all of them are. Dre, they keep all this are. Dark. They all are. Kanye West they is tell also. Us what to do. Kanye West is also a creative genius, and right. he's a little bit left brain. So obviously, sometimes it may have been more so of him. Being a little challenged, passionate. passionate. He is yeah. a grown man but, who has to hold himself accountable for his actions. You cannot go on stage and interrupt someone's moment of glory after they've worked just as hard as you have all year long to get there, and you snatch that moment away from her—a moment she will never be able to get back—and you you decided to act an ass on stage. I'm gonna play there devil's is no advocate for that. I'm gonna play devil's you advocate can. here. Watch you this. Try. What about when Lil Mama jumped on stage with Jay-Z and Alicia Keys? An asshole. She's an asshole. She ruined her career. Do you know Jay-Z to this day will not work with her for that? Do you know Alicia Keys to this day will not work for her with her for that? Mm -hmm. She will never have a shot. She's on Tubi. She's on Tubi. You don't think think they was a little bit harsh on her for that? No, they wasn't. They did exactly. You don't jump on somebody's set. Maybe y'all not getting it. I don't know how long. Y'all know. Y'all should know this. You don't jump on somebody's stage when somebody else is getting, doing whatever they're doing. You don't interrupt someone look, before it's look, disrespectful look, it depends the on the artist it don't, I wouldn't it don't. mind it depends. That's if that's what, somebody from that's Philly the rules did that to me if listen we was on stage a real at the MTV not do Awards a real artist and have we had like a moment like that I wouldn't mind that you came up on stage and did that at the end. I wouldn't mind. Maybe so if I you feel had like a I wouldn't mind. Lee, Even Lee, if I, I feel it, like I this. Mind. I feel like this. That's disrespectful. Lee, Lee, look, That's just I feel the like this. Game. It's how it goes. I feel like accountability is one thing to have. Like a person deserves to so have accountability. Right. No, they don't deserve to have accountability. They have to have yeah, accountability. But listen, watch this. But I feel like, but us as people, I feel like we also deserve to give people yeah, room. Sorry, we bro. deserve to give people room to like mess mm-hmm. up and make mistakes and be like, all right, this was a mistake you on that person. Grace. Yeah, you, you gave grace, grace and Absolutely. forgiveness and all that. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like the black, black uh, list, little mama forever or the whole Kanye West accountable to you know that one era for a long with time. You, but we have to. We're we're standing in the court of public opinion. When I'm speaking, I'm not speaking for necessarily how I feel because I'm gonna keep it real with you. Like the Taylor Swift thing, I really have a strong dislike for Taylor Swift ever since she did December by um, Earth Wind and Fire. I just felt like that whole thing was just. So she should have never did like, that. Why yeah. would you touch it? I know it's a really petty reason. So I don't. I'm not bringing myself in personally how I feel, but I'm telling you what the fact, these are just like the fact, this is the way the world works, right? You can't go on someone else's set, whether they're getting an award, whether they're performing, and just incorporate yourself into the set and expect to be accepted. Like, you can't do that. It's disrespectful. It throws people off because you don't know, some people are so into their set, they have it planned out. Some people don't just go on stage and be like, okay, this is what I'm doing. No, some people plan their set. So you going on stage could throw something off. You don't know what's planned. Like, you're throwing things off. Stay in your lane. Is what I'm saying. And what I'm saying, we always can give grace, but we still, even with giving grace, what comes before giving grace and forgiveness? Acknowledging what you did. So we have to acknowledge that that it's wrong, and then we can give grace. Just like if we were to ask forgiveness for ourselves, we would have to apologize to the person, acknowledge what we did wrong, and then expect, and then ask for forgiveness. Change behavior. It's the same way. It's change behavior. It's like you have, there's a process. It's like, it's a a rule of thumb. Like, it's it's an order of things. Well, look, Mm -hmm. the, 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 the... the, the in this conversation on this, right? Mm-hmm. We all know that the Grammys ain't never been for us, and they not, yeah. and they not never gonna be for us. Mm-hmm. And like the thing is, a lot of people don't realize that black, black, well, hip hop and R and B is the biggest music genres ever. And it's like a lot of people say that they're not, but they are. And you know why they are? Because you can have a set of black people and white people and Asians and Puerto Ricans mm-hmm. all in one room together. Mm-hmm. They can. They can play some white music. You'll have a lot of people in the room that don't really know what artist that is or what song that is. And you can have some other music played from other nationality and they won't know what song that is. But but you can play a hip hop like Jay Z or Eminem or or like fifty or like fifty cent or something like that. I ain't even gonna say Eminem. I'm gonna say like fifty cent, Jay Z or somebody like that. They're gonna 
them white people, each people from that nationality yeah, is gonna is gonna know that song and know that artist. So hip hop is the biggest genre, but they like to downplay it. So at the Grammys, we won't never get our moment. And that's why these artists need to stop playing the Grammy so high and start playing sh- stuff like the BET Awards. You see, I said stuff, right? <laughs> All right, stuff like the BET Awards. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the hip hop awards. They need to like play that right way. One but, of the one of the viewers on the internet said Facts, if you can't handle your liquor, don't have it. Exactly. So okay. they agree with Pink exactly. League. Okay. Like, it's just, it's just true. about it's about just holding ourselves accountable. We can always give grace and forgive. We just hold ourselves accountable. But I feel like, yeah, we know the Grammys aren't for us. Like, it's it's crazy to still indulge. As yeah. the p- artists in the industry, if, if they're signed to major labels, they have no real choice but to get involved. But as indie artists, we know what to do. I don't need nobody judging my music. I, my streams speak for themselves. We'll Facts. be right back, y'all. Well, definitely. We actually um, about to we're like, tap we, back in. We're not going to a break, are we? Okay, we yeah. Done. Done. So, yeah. Oh, so, all right. Yo, that was the, the. All right, so that was the Ranting and Raven podcast. Shout out to Diff World. Shout out to Dre for, you already know, rocking out with us tonight. Yeah. You guys want to sign off? Definitely. Look, we appreciate y'all for tapping in with us, while checking us out, man. Make sure y'all go into the comments. Make sure y'all share these videos. Um, make sure y'all follow our pages. What's your What's your page or y'all? What's everybody? Hi, Pink Lee. H I P I N K K L E E. And yeah, you can find me, your boy, at Two Cocky Dre on Instagram at the number two word cocky and D R A. Um, that's where you really can find me at. That's where really all like the motion is that get with me. You know, like the stories be popping, the stories be crazy. Look out for the music that's coming soon. Y'all already know what's going on. Once again, shout out to the vibe, shout out to Keish, shout out to Boulevard Fashion, one of one of our other sponsors, shout out to Pink Drinks. Y'all know how we doing. Make sure that y'all tap into all of that. Definitely. Look, that was that, man. We, we appreciate y'all. Thanks for having me out, Pink Lee. Thanks for having me out. This was this was dope. I love stereotype sounds. Everything y'all do, I'm definitely a we supporter. Appreciate you for stopping by, bro. Hey, look, man. You already know I had fun. We ain't we ain't get to the to the marriage topic. We are gonna have to save that for next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah.